What's up everyone, Tina here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure shipping and delivery rates in e-commerce stores. What does this mean? Well, e-commerce store owners can now define manual delivery charges based on zones. So let's say you're selling any sort of physical products and you're shipping within Europe, but also outside of Europe. These delivery costs will be different for you as the business. So you just want to pass on these costs to the end user. This can be set up super simple. So when a customer checks out on your digital store, they will obviously have to select a country where they want to receive mail to. And according to that selection, the system can calculate different shipping prices. Let me show you how to do that. All right, first we want to go to payments on the left and settings at the top and you want to select the shipping and delivery section. Here you can see I have already set up one zone. Let me show you how to set up a different zone. If you want to add another zone, you just click the button add zone right here. So if you're not really sure how much you should charge or what kind of zone you should select, I would advise you to visit the website of your local delivery service and get inspiration from there. This is the DHL website, for example, and here you can see their zones. Zone one, for example, is all the AU countries. But then inside of all the EU countries, delivery prices vary based on the size of the package. Logical, right? So here you can see the first zone, zone one, all EU countries, right? If I wanted to edit it, I click the three dots on the right, click edit. And here I can add more countries that belong to the EU. After I've done that, I'll just hit save. Now you can see the first rate we created is a packet up to two kilogram, which will cost the end user $6.49. Going back to the site, you can see we took this from the website. So now let's set up a different variation. Let's say we're going to choose size M. That would be 10 euros 49. We just click add rate, paste what we just copied under the name and also into the delivery description, then add the pricing. And here under conditional pricing, you can check this box. And if you have free shopping going at the minimum order at like 500 bucks, then you can set this here. This will encourage the buyer to purchase more so that they can get free shipping. Hit add. Now you can see the second shipping rate has been added to our zone one. Now let's say we want to set up another zone. Let's go back to our DHL page. Let's say we want to send to Great Britain and Switzerland. Let's copy this, go back to add zone, name it exactly the same and add the countries Great Britain and Switzerland. Switzerland and UK. Hit add and here you go. You can see the zone two has been created, but you can see that we haven't added any shipping rates yet. Let's do that real quick. Go back to the sheet. Let's say the smallest packet is $8.99. Let's add rate, paste what we just copied, add the price again 899 we definitely want to put conditional pricing because we want to encourage people to purchase more hit add and here we go now since we've set up zones and countries let me show you how that looks like in the checkout page from a customer perspective now this is our checkout page for a product which costs ten dollars since this is below five hundred dollars and they don't reach the threshold of receiving free shipping, we will have to charge them shipping so here you can see the subtotal we purchased twice the demo product quantity two right then we're going to add VAT, which is $4. Then we're going to add shipping, which is $6.49, which is a total of $30.49. And by the way, the free shipping gets calculated based on the total amount. So here's the first area where you can see the shipping. And down here, you can see the second one. And down here, they can select what type of package they want to choose up to two kilos. This is based on the size in this example. So up to 35 by 25 by three centimeters and up to two kilos. That would be the first price, $6.49. If the package is a little bit bigger and the size of the package is longer then they'll have to select a $10.49. And here you can see that automatically changed as well once we've selected this. Let me show you another example where the order is about $500. So this is a checkout page we purchased 50 times the $10 which comes to a total of $510. Since this is above the $500 threshold and we give our customer free shipping, you won't see any shipping cost listed right here. And lastly, I will show you how the shipping cost shows up differently depending on what country the customer chooses. So under country, if they select UK, remember we have set up UK and Switzerland as zone two, the shipping cost will be $8.99. If it's within Europe, it will be cheaper. So let's select Austria and you can see the price has changed to $6.49. You could also choose to display different shipping methods like standard, express or same day and charge according to that. I hope you find this video useful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.